Hey, I'm Jason Hardy with Elite Barbecue Smokers. The recipe I want to share with you today is this, a lemon rosemary grilled halibut on the Weber grill. This one right here is something you want to try, I promise you. It's very simple and the flavor is out of this world. So let's get to prepping so we get it cooking. Come on. So the fish we can use today for our lemon rosemary grilled halibut, this is Northwest Pacific halibut. It comes from Snake River Farms. It's a very mild fish that can take a lot of different flavors to it. All right, so right off the bat, I want you to notice something. Though. Both of these are five ounce fillets. They're white, it's a very mild fish. But the size of these are differently. These two are cooked completely different. So this one's kind of a thinner size, more uniform across from one side to the other. So this one cooked one way. This one here is a little bit thicker. So this one cooked a little bit slower. So we're grilling these up and then make sure you pay attention to it. I want to grill them up so they're done as I'm looking for, but make sure they're flaky. Now, when you're cooking fish, be careful with that. Always make sure you cook each piece because of the size they are. Because fish varies a lot more than other meats. So before we put the fish in the pan, we got to get a marinade ready. Pretty simple. We got two ounces of lemon juice. We got two ounces of a white wine. I got one tablespoon right here of rosemary chopped up fine. And this one clove of minced garlic. Now I'll add in some olive oil. You got about two, two tablespoons of olive oil. Now I'm gonna take my fillets, I'm gonna set them right in here. Now what I'm gonna do because of the way this marinade is, it's gonna need to come here about every 30 minutes and flip them over. So we're gonna let this kind of marinate in the refrigerator about 30 minutes, flip it over. Be a total of about an hour and a half, two hours. Now let's get the refrigerator. So I just took this out of the refrigerator. It's been marinating a little over an hour. Now I'm not gonna throw this away. What I'm gonna use this while I'm cooking is to base the halibut. That way it can kind of maintain the moisture I'm looking for. So now I've got some roof steak fish rub here. This is a good rub. I love this rub on fish. It's got a good uh, mixture of the citrus to it with the flavors. So this is one you really wanna check out. So let's get this on the grill. Let's get this party started. Come on. Right, so we're running right at almost 500 degrees. What I'm gonna do right now, before I put the fish on there, I'm gonna close down the top burner. To just got a little bit open. Same thing with the bottom. Pretty much gonna choke it all the way fast. off. Now I've got my grill brakes on here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start on the direct side and then I'll rotate it over to the indirect side. As you see, it's kind of cooled down right now. We're about a little below 400 degrees. You can hear it dripping on the fire right now. See a little bit of smoke coming in there? A little bit of fat and that marinade we had and everything is dripping right on the fire. All right, so I'm gonna take my marinade right at a minute. Just kind of put a little bit on top of it. Just drizzling it on. Now me choking it off right now, we kind of dropping temperature down. What well, goes right below 400, right now she'll probably level, up, level off around 375 in about two minute mark. Then I'm gonna rotate around and base it some more. Now, what I'm gonna do, because they're hot right here, I'm gonna pull this and pull it up. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna flip it over right here. I'm gonna base it. These grill grates carry a lot of heat. So that's one thing you have to be careful when they do direct a lot of heat. You see we leveled off right here, right around about 350 now. As you can see, we started hot. And as we keep choking the fire down and moving around, we're coming down temperature a little bit. So it's getting right at 350 mark. We're right at the five minute mark total cook time. And so what I'm gonna do this time, because my, this is cooled down some on this side, I'm gonna take this and kind of just pull it right back over here. Get it far away from the fire can. I'm still holding some heat here, which is fine. Now, to cool it off even more, I got some vegetables here. I'm gonna put this in here. This is gonna help start absorbing some of that heat inside of it. It's gonna allow me to have control my cook a little more. So I'm gonna baste this some more. Just keep basting this now. Don't be scared in this process to continually check on it. I know they say you're looking at cooking, but when you're doing something other as tender as a fish, look is not a bad thing if you can control your fire. All right, so we did another minute. We've leveled off right at 350 still. I'm gonna take my base, I'm gonna base it again. This is gonna help me maintain my moisture in there. Close it back down. All right, another minute mark. Right now we're about nine minutes into it. Before I base this time, I just wanna do a temperature check. We're 120 here, 130 there. So this fish here is almost where I want it to be at. It's a thinner one and it cooks a little bit faster. I'm gonna base it just enough. A little bit more. Go to about another minute. We should be good for the smaller one. So we got another minute. Right at 11 minutes of total cook time here. 131, 132. This one right here is probing on me. 123. 
We're close enough with this one. I know it's gonna have a carryover temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and let it pull it off. I'm gonna lay it base inside down. I'm gonna base this one some more. Let it go a little bit longer. My other fish right here is resting. I'm gonna come here and take this marinade and baste it a little more. So we're right at 13 minutes total right now. What I said is leveled off here about 350, 360. 126, 130, 127. We'll let it go a little bit more. The vegetables are still a little tough. When you look at doing vegetables, you want basically when you probe tender. They get in there, but they're still a little tough on me. Let them keep going. I'm gonna baste again. Let it go another minute. All right, so we're back at another minute here. Let's see where we are. I know this seems like I opened it up a lot, but I'd rather make sure my fish is moist than dry. And so that's the whole process here. It may slow me down a little bit opening up this much, but I want to make sure I keep an eye on it. Man, that garlic and that marinade smells good. <coughs> Got another minute. All right, we start getting flaky on here. See it flaking off on me? We're good right here. I'm gonna let it take it off. We're at 135, 133. I'm gonna pull it off and let it rest for a minute. We've had a total of 17 minutes here. So again, I'm gonna take my spatula, pull it up, and flip it over. See how it looks? Looks really good, doesn't it? I'll let my vegetables go by another five minutes. We're gonna let this rest a little while, then we're gonna take it and plate it up, and slice it up, and taste it. So the vegetables, we can pull them off and they get fork tender. So see y'all inside at the cutting board. So we brought our lemon rosemary grilled halibut inside. We put it in a nice warm place. It's been resting about 10 minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is taste it up and see what it tastes like. You ready? I know I'm ready. Come on. It's flaky, man. You see it right here. See it flaking apart on us? Look at that. Taste it. Oh Lord. It's very moist. Got a little bit of that garlic and that rosemary flavor coming through it. That lemon is just kind of working with its rubs. Man, it's making this flavor just amazing. Right there alive. Y'all, if you haven't checked out the halibut, check it out. It's a very mild fish. It can accept a lot of different flavors to it. And Snake River Farm sent us this fish to use in this video, and this is absolutely amazing. Let's try one of these vegetables right here. I remember what I was telling you earlier about fork tender? That's what you're looking for right there. You want to be fork tender. Are they fork tender, they done. Mm. Y'all, that's it's delicious. So do me a favor, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you cook your halibut. I'd love to hear how you do yours. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All that being stated, we'll go inside and eat. First, we're gonna say the blessing, but first thing we do, let me Dolly try it. Dolly, you ready? Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Ow. Beat me. Dolly liked it, she wants some more. If Dolly like it, I know you will too. Now let's say the blessing. Lord, bless food by receiving. Just name pray. Amen. Dang, this is good. Hey, if you like this video, you want to check out another one out? This one right up here is a pork chop we've done. It's really good. I'm going to eat this for supper now. See you next time. Oh, Lord, is it good?